Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. I'm here today with Kelly L. Cox. And Kelly, you started out uh, assisting when you were still at Cal. You helped me out at a couple of football games. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you've done since then. Oh, well, I started assisting you and had already been photographing a lot of Cal football. And it was a great opportunity to meet a lot of photographers. And through that, I now work for USA Today Sports Images, or Imagine as they're branded now, um, That's right. covering a lot of pro events in the Bay Area. I'm very lucky to have covered World Series, NBA Finals, Super Bowl. And then I also Biggies. run my own company, KLC Photos, that sort of works with photographers in a variety of college and amateur sports. Great, great. Um, so you've had a lot of success in, in a short amount of time in a business that's known for being very difficult to get into. Do you have anything, any key elements you think really helped you uh, make these uh, uh, move forward in this business? It doesn't feel like it's been a short time because it's been about a decade now, but I originally said I'd, I'd give myself five years before I used a, a true college degree to get a quote unquote real job. So 10 years in, um, it was slow growth and so much of it was built on relationships and building relationships upon relationships and you know just sort of seeing where my career would go and establishing and developing new clients, new opportunities. and hoping for the best. T tell me a little bit about your uh, your stock agency. KLC Photos has sort of transitioned and taken on a life of its own. It's been really fun because I get to work with photographers, you know, across the US, some even internationally, of a wide variety of skills, all that are super passionate, who want to be great photographers, who want to be part of this photographer community. And it's really fun to help sort of provide a platform for them not only to connect with other photographers but also connect them with clients and help them understand how to build client relationships and build their career that's really cool and 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 very rare i think in, in this industry so I, i'm really i'm really happy that you're doing that um what's your favorite sport to shoot that's a really hard one. I feel like my go-to answer has always been rugby because they don't wear helmets and they have so many different moves, whether it's kicking or throwing each up in the other, throwing each up, throwing each other up in the air, um, running with the ball. And it's, you know, where Cal plays, it's like this beautiful field in the they trees. Still, they still play up there? Yeah, up oh. in their field. I thought um, they tore that up or something. Well, it's now a turf field which oh, is less than great. Rugby on turf, um, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but all sports are really fun. Basketball is really fun to be at a game. That's really exciting. Um, but you don't get very dynamic light and very interesting photos yeah. compared to nice daylight games. And yeah. so yeah. depending on what I like to photograph versus what I like to be at, and <laughs> that goes day by day. A great baseball game is really fun, but a long 1-0, 16 inning baseball game is not very fun. Torture, <laughs> torture. Kelly, give me an idea. When you're down on the field at a at a basketball game or a football game, um, you know there are a lot of elements. It's exciting. Uh, it's fun, but also uh, it can be a little scary. And uh, have you had any experiences that really were kind of scary to you? I think for the most part, I try to be very aware of what's happening in the game. So the only times that I've sort of had an errant ball come my way or had a player run into me was when it was away from the play. And that's sort of something, if you're following the play, you might not see the you know receiver that the ball didn't get thrown to that's coming your way. So I try to be really quick on my feet and able to get up. And um, I think, you know, just just the awareness, there there is a risk factor when you're at a game, especially at baseball. They do a lot of Giants have a great stadium where, where it can be protected by a lot nets. Of netting. A lot and, of netting there. And thankfully your camera can shoot through the nets, actually, yes. as yes. long as they're not, you know, super, super thick. Um, and I I appreciate that in so many ways. And we'll see a lot more netting coming up. But uh, yeah, I was almost uh, probably would have been killed by a broken bat. Uh, 
because I was watching, I think it was Ron Say at bat, and I was watching Steve Garvey in second. He was taking off, and I thought, well, you know, it's got to be a hit, and it was, but it was a hit off a broken bat, and it came flying right, right behind me, broke my monopod. Yeah, things can happen, but uh, as Kelly says, be aware. Be aware all the time. Keep your head on a swivel, aware of your environment, and be ready to jump. Kelly, uh, we just uh, we just heard you talk at the at the workshop, and you talked about the fact that uh, technique is um, is becoming a little less important because the level of technology in the cameras uh, makes everybody have a good technique. So so what's what's taking its place? What is what else can you do besides take good pictures, which pretty much everybody can, uh, to make yourself stand out in the crowd? Yeah, I think with your career, you probably started on film and some manual focus and and you don't need that anymore, but you can tell in the images that you create that that's your background and you know how to see light and you know, you know how to anticipate moments because you came from a background where you only got one shot at it. Now you have 60 frames a second to get that moment and people just kind of motor drive to get the frame and everyone can capture the moment, but who sees it, who looks for the light, who creates something that's really dynamic where it's not just check mark, I got a photo of this, but I was very intentional about how everything was going. I set myself up to have the best light, to have the best moments so that when the play happened, I got it. The best light, the best background. I think you're right. In the, the intention in the shot really shows, despite the technique, which is always going to be good, the intention will make the difference. Yeah. So now a question for you. As someone who has been in this industry for much longer with a very established career and you know, so many people look up to you, you've seen it change a lot. Are you optimistic about the future and where do you think it's going? I'm trying to be optimistic about the future. I, I think uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't presuppose to say I knew where it was going, but I think it's going somewhere good. I think it's growing. I think there's going to be more opportunities. There are going to be more ways for people to express their creativity, and still some of them will get paid for it. So all in all, I, I think things are good in the business. Um, I've seen my little corner of that world change a lot. Not for the better, but I see other things coming in that are, are taking its place. So yeah, yeah, I am I am optimistic. How about you? You optimistic? I am optimistic. I think it's changing, and I think change isn't always necessarily bad. So I think if, if you adapt and you try to find your own little niche, then, then there's enough. People are very interested in photos now, and photos get published everywhere, so it's just finding someone that values your work enough to pay for it. Well, I, I think you said something in the end of your talk. Um, you talked about passion. Passion will always out, will always show in your work if it's true passion. And I think the other thing you talked about is to enjoy it, to enjoy your work. If you're not enjoying being out there, you should be somewhere else. So I think those are two keys. Yeah. I think anyone in this industry that's going to be in it for a while, you better enjoy it. Yeah, Otherwise, you you're just going to have a miserable life. Because it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But if you love it, it's... It's so fun and it's so rewarding yes. and you can find that, that sports are so much more than action, their impact across everywhere and you can find value in that way. Yeah. So Kelly, you're surrounded by photographers who are all trying to get into this business, very limited access, limited opportunities. Um, how, do you, how do you see that? How do you see that changing? How do you see that evolving? How do you see, uh, do you see new paths emerging for these photographers? Yeah, I think it's changed even from when I started. And a lot of the priority is who's getting the images out the fastest because social media plays a big role. Oh, yeah. And a lot of it is, you know, what does your client need? And client needs are, are changing every day of what, what their expectations are and what they want. So it's, um, it's, it's being flexible and, and trying to truly understand the value of your work and what you can provide to them, whether that's something that they already had the need for or something that you can tell them, hey, I think I could improve your brand by providing you with these sorts of images, this kind of service. Great. So if there was one thing you would say to someone starting out, like, uh, like uh, Jess, you were talking to in our workshop today, uh, what would you say in one sentence to her? 
Oh, in one sentence. I think right now my biggest push would be don't think that Instagram will be the key to your success. I hope not. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people spend a lot of time there yeah. and that time could be better spent networking uh, through different channels and making themselves more searchable and making themselves, um, you know, people that don't upload their photos to the client, but they have uploaded them to their Instagram channel. And then the client is like, wait, wait yes, a minute, where yes. is mine? Um, but I guess one sentence for how to break into it or how to... Just an encouragement and, and advice. Uh, look for a dynamic light, know your value and try to find ways to increase your value to a client and both your personal value of how you enjoy it. Great, great. Kelly, thank you. Kelly's been here today at the Peter Reed Miller Sports Photography Workshop in Northern California. Uh, I want to thank her again for appearing with us. Uh, thank you for watching on Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. Don't forget to sub subscribe. Have a good shoot. And thank you. This guy's a legend. So thank you for having me out and has been a key factor in a lot of my success. So I really appreciate the opportunities that you've given me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.